Good morning! Happy Vlogmas Day 6. Day 6 of Vlogmas also happens to be my birthday. And for that reason, and in combination with the fact that I've just watched all the seasons of the Great British Bake Off, I have convinced myself that I can make Mary Berry's Lemon Drizzle Cake. And that's going to be my birthday cake this year. So I'll bring you along with me to the making of my birthday cake for Vlogmas Day 6. Okay, let's get started. Per the instructions, well maybe I should talk about the ingredients. The ingredients are going to be 1 and 1 eighth cups of sugar, 225 grams, and the rind of two small or one large lemon peeled with a vegetable peeler, yellow pot only. Let's stop there because that's the part we're going to do now. <laughs> Put the recipe down. I, um, in, in consideration of the time that the video might take, here is here are the um, lemon rinds. I've already peeled them just to make the video go a bit faster. And here is the food processor. I will combine one and one eighth cups of sugar with the yellow lemon rind. It smells really good. I've never done that before. Well, I've never made lemon drizzle cake. So here we go. Let's pulse it on low for a little. Sorry about the noise if you had some. Now per the instructions, it says... First, make the lemon sugar. Put the sugar in the lemon peels in a food processor and process until the zest is completely incorporated into the sugar. It will be pale yellow, moist, and fragrant. Okay. More. I think just a little more. I think that's it. And here's how it looks. It smells. It smells so fresh lemon. My goodness. And that's what it looks like. So I think we're done with this step. Next step. Next step, we have to put, let's see, put the sugar and butter into the bowl of a standard mixer or you can mix by hand with electric beaters. Cream them together for four to five minutes, scraping down the bowl as necessary. It should be pale and fluffy. Beat in the eggs one by one. Okay, so there's the sugar and lemon, and we need one cup of butter. Don't you like the way I got this stuff all ahead, <laughs> fixed up ahead so that I won't take forever to show you this cake? Now, I don't have a standard mixer. I'm going to get one someday. I've wanted one for a while now. I've been saving my Chase credit card points to buy one online on Amazon. Okay. Here we go. What did it say? Cream how long? Four or five minutes? It says cream together for four to five minutes, scraping the bowl as necessary. Okay, this might get loud for you guys. Sorry. about it you don't have to watch this for four to five minutes I'll be back okay now I'm going to add the eggs one at a time as directed and these are at room temperature
Okay, the eggs are blended in, so now it is blend in the milk, and we need four tablespoons of milk. I've got that at room temperature as well. Here's one, two, three, four. Blend in the milk. Then, blend in the milk, then the baking powder. The baking powder is two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two. I've never had to add baking powder except for into the flour. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. Okay. Now it says to Let's see. Now it says to finally fold in the flour. Don't overmix, but make sure everything is evenly incorporated. Okay, the flour is two and one quarter cups of self rising flour. I didn't have self rising flour, but there's a note at the end that you can make self rising flour, which I did. It's one cup of flour to one and a half teaspoons of more baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So I made three cups of it and I've measured out two and a quarter cups, which I will blend in, fold in. I think it said, it said fold. It said, um, Yep, and finally fold in the flour. And I put the flour. There it is. Fold in the flour. So I'm gonna put it and just hmm. let's just fold it. Scrape the sides. Fold in the flour. A little more. Fold. 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 And quit saying fold, right? Fold in the flour. Don't open mix. Read that again. <laughs> fold in the flour. Don't over mix, but make sure everything is evenly incorporated. All right, let's put in the rest of the flour. Probably was a mistake. But make sure it's evenly incorporated. And don't over mix. I think I should have done it in a couple of more steps. I probably just put in too much. The impatient baker. That's one thing. I feel like some of my other, like my knitting and my sewing, I've had more patience and I've been a little more exact while I've been watching that baking show because they have to be so specific because what they're doing is really like science with the salt and the baking powder. All right, this is getting there. It's a different kind of a dough. I bake from scratch, but I never do anything very exact because I'm one of those cookers that cooks, never cooks this, anything the same way twice. And you can't do that if you want to be an, a real baker like these people are. Not that I will even aspire to be a real baker, but I wanted to try this cake because it looked so good. I think I need a spoon now. Do I have a big spoon somewhere? Let's clear this spatula off. And it smells great. If it cooks up, and even if it's tough, at least it might have good flavor. 
as the judges always say, uh, the presentation isn't good, but the flavor is excellent. It's lovely. It's a lovely flavor. But it fell apart. It doesn't look like there's enough here for a cake, but it is a bunt cake. All right. What's the next step, recipe? The next step is... Uh, spoon the batter into your prepared pan. I prepared the pan. I buttered and floured my bunt pan. And spread out evenly. Bake for 35 minutes or until risen, golden, and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out without any wet batter on it. The top should spring back when lightly touched. So that's it. Okay, this is going in the bunt pan. Let's get that. Let me put this right here. Okay, and spoon it in. I can't believe it. It didn't take very long. Well, probably because I dumped all the flour in at the end. <laughs> smells good. We'll see what happens. This is for my birthday. The kids are coming over tonight. They were going to bring a cake, and I said, don't bring a cake. I'm making my own birthday cake. But maybe I should have had them bring a cake uh, as a, an in case. In case this one doesn't come out. Hey, it's a cake. How bad can it come out, right? I have another spoon and a knife. All right, let's get this all up. Just even it out a bit. Probably need another spatula for that. Okay. One thing about me, when I cook, I dirty a lot of dishes. I don't care, I'm the one who does them, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, we'll even this up. And then, I probably shouldn't do that, but I did. Okay. Here we go, into the 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. See you when it comes out. Okay, cake's in the oven. Needs to bake another 23 minutes. In the meantime, we have to make what is called the crunchy Crunchy glaze. It is one cup of granulated sugar and the juice of two lemons. I did two small lemons. Let's see. Where's the one? No, this measures about uh, just shy of a half a cup. Just shy of a half a cup of lemon juice. And what the instructions say to do here is to Mix the sugar with enough lemon juice to make a loose paste about the consistency of runny honey. And then brush the glaze liberally over the entire surface of the cake while it is still warm, going over it more than once if necessary. You'll want a thick, even coating and let the icing dry before slicing. When the cake comes out, we have to cool it for 12 minutes and then run a thin offset spreading knife around the edge to gently loosen it and um, flip the cake onto a cooling rack and then that's when we um, glaze it. Okay, I want to use enough lemon juice to make a, some runny honey. Let's start with a little. Oh, this should be easy. This isn't too bad. How much sugar is in this cake? I've always been kind of an alternative. Try to substitute sugars and eat whole grains and do that kind of stuff. But as I get older, I'm thinking my time's running out, I might as well start living it up and eating some sugar. A runny honey. how this works. You know, I've still got 24 minutes on the cake and I'll bet this sets and gets a little thicker so I'm going to make sure I save some of that lemon juice. Although, oh that's a runny, now let's see, can you see that? Uh, how can
can I show you how that looks? Probably should take my camera off the tripod. Oh, I know what I can do. Hang on. Okay, let's try this angle. See if I can see what's going on. Does this look like runny honey to you? I say yes. My honey is always slow as molasses. <laughs> Let's make sure it's a little runny. I think that's where I'm going to keep it. And I have plenty of lemon juice left over. If I need to, if it, if it thickens within the next 20 minutes, I'll add it. Okay, be back soon. Okay. Came out of the oven at 35 minutes. Oh no, you hear the dishwasher in the background. Sorry about that. And um, I had to let it cool for 12 minutes and I just flipped it and it feels like it came out. But I don't know. Here goes nothing. Let's see. Uh oh. This, oh wait. I think it came out. Yes! Okay. Alright, now it says to glaze it with this drippy, what, runny honey. Oh, it got a little thick. Let me mix it up a little. I may have to add some, might have to add a little lemon juice. Glad I saved the lemon juice, didn't get rid of it. Oh no, it just needed to be mixed, I think. Okay, we have to brush this on. It goes nothing. Make sure it is completely covered and go over it more than once if you have to. So that I've left it on the cooling rack and I've put it a, a layer of parchment paper underneath it so all this drippy stuff. I don't like the way this is looking. It looks like it's well, I guess it's drizzling through the cake. I don't know if I want to put a lot of this. It seems awfully sweet. Even though it's lemon juice, it's all sugar. I'm going to do it according to the recipe, that's all. Maybe I'd rather just spoon it on than brush it. it looks like I'm making it all rough. Oh, but maybe it won't go in properly unless I paint it on said to brush it on, not drip it on. Oh, I see. It makes it more of a glaze. I guess when it um, dries, it'll be crunchy. I don't know. I've never made this. I mean, I've seen them make it, but some of them pierced cakes and put it in, like a poke cake. But I went on the internet and I got Mary Berry's lemon drizzle recipe. Totally hers. It's been changed a little bit because they added the, um, instead of a weight, they added the cups. Well, they put both. I think that is how, why it, the recipe had been um, altered a bit. Said it was slightly, sl slightly changed. And I think it was for the measurements because they were in parentheses when it was cups or compared to grams. Now what? It says to do it more than once if you want to. How do you know? I don't know. Make sure it's completely covered. Hmm. do get that I'm a little impatient. It's not that I'm impatient. It's just like, I don't know, rubbing the cake seems to be changing the outside, of the, the texture of the outside, and I don't want to do that. I'm just going to drip the rest of this on, and we're calling it done. I'm not doing it more than once. So that ends the baking of my birthday cake. Kids are coming over at four. We're having pizza and cake for my birthday. 
So I'm going to finish up this video now. And I'll let you know how the cake came out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Happy Vlogmas. See you tomorrow.